After you build the infrastructure and added activity locations, you can use the agent input form to define the behavior of the agents. This tutorial will give you a quick tour of the agent input form. You will learn what kind of behavior can be defined using this form and help you get started modeling the behavior. With only two entry exit area locations, the model can already be run. This is because default agent behavior has already been defined in the agent input form. Let's take a look. The agent input form is open from the modeling tab of the main menu. On the first page, an agent profile can be defined. Think of commuters, shoppers, females, or elderly people. One important property of the profile is the maximum desired speed. If it is not too crowded, an average agent will walk with a speed of 1.35 meter per second but the triangular distribution creates a spread such that the agents with this profile will have a preferred max speed between 0.8 and 1.75 meters per second. On the second page, the agent activities can be defined. Example of activities are buying a ticket or a shop. The activities that agents have planned to perform determine which activity locations they will visit within the environment. By default, an entry and exit activity already exists. Activities can often take place at several locations in the environment. To define an activity, you need to define at what activity locations it can take place. This is mostly determined by the activity type. The list includes all types that are also on the activity toolbar. The different activity location types exist to easily create activities that can take place in different multiple sets of locations. If more than seven types are needed, the group property of the activity locations can be used. On the activities routes page, several routes can be defined. This is an ordered list of activities an agent plans to perform. The default route for an agent is to first perform the entry activity and then the exit activity. The generators determine when agents are placed in the model. Click Edit to adjust the selected row of the arrival list using the edit fields above the list. Besides the creation time and the number of agents, the generator assigns each agent to an activity route and an agent profile. Here you can easily select one of the defined activity routes and the profile that needs to be assigned to the agent. Do not forget to click Update if you make a change here. Running the model, you see that every minute a group of agents is created in one of the entry exit locations, and they will walk to the other entry exit location. You have now seen the different pages of the agent input form and how they are used. Watch our other videos to learn more about defining the agent behavior. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.